Hey there viewers and welcome back to the self made Auto Channel. Uh, more often than not, uh, I get emails, messages, hit up on the Insta, uh, if that's a thing, people wondering where I get service info. Where do you get your wiring diagrams? How do you know where this circuit goes? How do you know where that connector is located? You know, where do you get in these pictures? You know, and more importantly, they wanna know if they're free. Uh, unfortunately, in, in my business, in a, in a professional shop setting, those items are not free. I pay hundreds of dollars a month in subscriptions. Uh, the two main ones I use are Mitchell Pro Demand and Identifix, along with other factory service info, which none of those are free. Um, if you're looking for something free and you're in a more populated area, not downtown Podunk, Boca, uh, check your local library. A lot of bigger libraries have resources available. Uh, sometimes they have full subscriptions to Pro Demand and All Data and other, you know, like motor. Uh, repair manuals and stuff that are online where you may just have to pay for you know printing out copies uh, which is ultimately cheaper than you know buying the program uh, in most cases and some of these uh, bigger service info providers like all data in Mitchell offer a DIY version where you can buy them vehicle specific I'm not going to go into specific details of those programs you'll have to check it out yourself a lot of them have trial versions I'll show you where to find the links to those where to find the links to OEM service info, which anybody can get. You don't have to be uh, a repair shop, you know, uh, or in New York or, um, so we'll just, we'll just cut right to the chase. We'll get right on here. One of the most valuable websites you can have here is the NASTF.org. Uh, it's your National Automotive Service Task Force. And then you come down to subscription prices, which is already where we're at. And you can scroll down through here because it's gonna have great links and stuff for you. And it will tell you, uh, what the current subscription rate is. And it's going to be subscriptions to factory service info. If you get into uh, programming, a lot of times, you know, those are different uh, subscriptions. But let's say, you know, for example, you're working on your Chevrolet and you're like, I need a diagram from my Chevy because it's broke. Imagine that. And you come down to GM and it's 20 bucks for 72 hours, uh, $40 per VIN, and that's going to be programming. Um, your factory scan tool, if you have an interface device, uh, you know, $55, gives you three days. And, uh, you know, Honda, you come down here, Honda, it's 10 bucks, 72 hours. And you're gonna get factory service info. You're gonna log into Honda's website and you're gonna have your wire diagrams. You're gonna have your, uh, you know, all your specs, your, your torque specs, you know, how to change your brakes, wire diagrams, connector pinouts, everything. You know, same thing, uh, you know, with Chrysler. Um, you get on uh, the dealer connector, I can't think of the name of it currently, um, you know, Ford, or if you're home working on your Bentley, you know, 35 bucks gives you two days to your, your Bentley access. So these are hyperlinks to those sites, or you can just come up to uh, OEM service websites, and we'll go there, and let's say you want to work on your Chevrolet, you go to acdelco.tis, you're probably going to have to create a login. Um, I probably picked the only website that's not functioning right now. AC Delco sometimes has some issues, we'll call them. So we'll see if this loads up, and it does. So, you know, here we've got our programming tab, which we, we don't want because we're just looking for service info. Um, where's service info? Right here, three days for 20 bucks. Uh, it gives you bulletins, repair manuals, service manuals, owner's manuals, all that. You come over here, boom, you select it, you pay 20 bucks. And if you're if you think the $20 isn't worth it, then it's probably not worth working on your car. Um, $20 is gonna save you a lot of guessing. You know, uh, for example, you got a bad fuse and you wanna know what circuit it feeds. 20 bucks is pretty cheap. If you think you have the ability to fix it, it's gonna be a whole lot cheaper than paying a shop. Um, you know, providing you have the ability to move forward and carry out certain tests. Uh, so this is just one example here. Um, we'll go back, you know, it's. You know, yeah, tech authority, that's what I was thinking of. You know, you want to go to Chrysler, click on Chrysler, it's going to shortcut you there, same process. All the websites are a little different. Um, you're going to have to find, you know, how do I log in? How do I create an account? Am I buying just service info? Am I buying programming info? Because a lot of, like I say, they're often separate. I don't know why my internet's being so stinking slow. Um, you know, but they're, they're all here, all your major makes. I mean, you're working on your Jaguar, baby. It's all there, um, you know here everybody it's all here so these are all going to be links to OEM service info that's going to be the best service info you can get in my opinion 
um, well, Tech Authority is still loading up, so here it is. Um, there's my login name and my super secret password. Don't worry because Chrysler has about a 75 step security access to get in to even use the OEM scan tool, uh, which sucks. But you know, everything, everything you want. Is it free? Absolutely not. You're gonna have to pay for it. Um, so there's that. Make a link to that, nastf.org. Tons of stuff on their site, but most importantly uh, for this video is you know how to get OEM service info. Other options for you. You've got All Data DIY. So All Data makes a repair service info program that is for professionals, and they also have their DIY one. Um, you want to check it out and see how it works? Go to their sample vehicles. Uh, I'm not an All Data user, so I'm going to be fumbly on here. But I guess we click this one, and then you know all your stuff's over here. I don't know how their stuff is laid out. Um, a lot of guys really love All Data. I've been a Mitchell Pro Demand user since since it came on CDs. So. Uh, since the 90s, I've been using Protonant, so I can just navigate it quicker. Um, so there's that. You have to look to see what their, uh, what their cost is. Um, usually it's pretty low uh, for what it is. Um, I'm not even going to pretend to sit on here and, and find it. Buy now. There we go. We'll click buy now. First vehicle, 30 bucks for an entire year. So let's say you have a fleet at home of three or four vehicles, and you know, you want to you're working, you know, two of them are under warranty, but two of them, you know, you're pulling wrenches on. Buy both of those vehicles. Have all the service info. You know, figure it out. 50 bucks for five years. That's 10 bucks for an entire year to have the information that we have here at the shop. And I say that with a grain of salt because I don't know if that's true. But uh, check into that. You know, see if it has what you need first. Does it have your wire diagrams? Does it have your specs? Does it have component tests? You know, stuff that you want to know that you're struggling to find on Google it's worth the 10 bucks a year. And uh, all data, not a sponsor. Their direct competitor, Mitchell One, uh, links you know up here, you can use this, the eautorepair.net. This is Mitchell Pro Demand's version of the DIY. This is the same, this is what I use in the shop, is Mitchell Pro Demand. Um, very useful, um, has you know good information. If you guys see me pull stuff up on my screen, it's usually from Pro Demand or uh, Identifix. So, you go there, you can demo this too. Do I like it? Uh, you know, I don't know. Go on and check it out for yourself. Uh, I don't use it, so I don't, I don't really know. Maybe I should be an affiliate before I tell you guys. <laughs> um, but anyway, I mean, what do, they, what do they state? You got TSBs, recalls, estimator, maintenance, repair, wiring diagrams. Um, you know, go on and check it out. One month, 20 bucks, four years. You know, you're back to that almost, you know, what, $11 eleven dollars a month eleven dollars and I don't know, 20 some cents whatever it is a dollar more than all data so check it out uh, that's a great place where you can get information um, other ones that are available in you know professional shops uh, moto logic is pretty popular i don't know if they have a diy version that i don't know but that's another source of service data beyond oem data of course mitchell pro demand uh, professional source. I think I pay like a buck eighty-five a month for this, and then um, Identifix, another you know very popular source. Uh, this, this is a silver bullet program. You type in what's wrong with your car, it gives you the top ten parts to change, and you just start shooting parts at it. Or you can use it like a normal person and go through, and they have service info, they have estimator program, they have all your specs. It's not just a silver bullet program, although that's mostly what it's used for. Um, you know, it's not how we, you know, it's not how I like to use it in my shop. They have a lot of OEM diagrams, color diagrams, motor diagrams, a lot of different, a lot of great stuff on here. And then most of all, it also has a lot of the service manuals. I don't feel the service manual side is as complete as uh, Mitchell Protoman. It has a lot of holes in it. Um, mostly on stuff that's not super popular. Let's say you get in a, you know, a Saab or a Suzuki, you know, it's gonna, it has big gaps there. Evidently, you can call them and they'll you know, hook you up with what's missing. But, you know, it is a full, full service manual for everything. You know, everything from changing your brakes to, you know, you want to put a transmission in it, boom, you can look it up. How long does it take? Go to your estimator. So, there's a lot of mumbo jumbo, but hopefully it gives you guys some guidance and direction. If you're Googling around and looking for service info for free, um, you know, you might find it, you might not. You, you don't mind spending a couple bucks if you know you have the ability to fix your car 
I think these are viable options. Um, if it was me, I certainly would be looking into all data DIY or the Mitchell DIY personally, um, just because, you know, if it's like I'm only working on my own vehicle and I want my information on that, boom, you got it. You got it for the year, you know, for whatever it costs or five years. Um, short term, let's say your buddy came over, you know, he's got a 12 pack and an engine light on and he drives a Chevy, but you're a Dodge guy and you don't know nothing about it. Make him pay for it. You know, go go to the GM and be like, dude, we need we need information. Because the fact of the matter is, yes, you can fix cars without service info, you're gonna fix them 50 times faster with it. If you know where you're going, you know what you're looking for, you know what circuit it's on, you know, you need the specs to do, you know, the training rebuild or you know, you're you're putting heads on it. He's like, man, I wish I had torque specs on it. Were you gonna trust Google or are you just gonna make them pay the 20 bucks? And get it all and just go on and print out what you need or you know instead of printing it out in paper save it as a pdf i mean that's that's easy to do you know if you most of you guys are way more computer savvy than me um there's just here there's an uplander let's pick that and this is only on on windows i think i'm not an apple guy let's go on here let's let her load up i'll show you how to save stuff as a pdf where am i Computers. <laughs> Don't you love it when videos fail live? Um, so we're gonna go on here. We're gonna wire a diagram for our cruise control. We want that bad boy. We're gonna print it. And I don't want to print it out. I'm gonna come here. Instead of printing it out, we're just gonna. Why is this already set up as? Oh, because this isn't even hooked to my printer. We're gonna save it as a PDF. Boom. Here it is, and we'll just put it on our desktop. And there it is. You know, if you think that, you know, I got this short-term subscription, go on there and save yourself a bunch of PDFs. Save, save anything you think you might need, and then, you know, boom, here it is on your desktop. I don't even think I've ever opened a PDF for this. You know, but here it is for a later time. You know, you can interact with it, you can print it, you can do whatever you want at that point. Um, yeah, I've never even open stuff here um, but anywho that's that folks i hope that this is somewhat informative lots of stuff available it's available to you and me i don't know about across the pond or worldwide or how that works but in the continental usa this is what's available to you if you're willing to spend a few bucks if you're not i'm sorry but uh, i think the price is pretty reasonable for the amount of information you get out of it and i'm going to call it quits it's too much talking Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, go down there and give it that thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Go in that comment box. Tell us why it sucked. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.